Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out this vintage plastic mousetrap that was made to look like a cat. It has eyes, whiskers, and paws, and inside a tongue as a trigger, and two springs that chomp down on the mouse. Now this trap is called the Ramjet. It was made in Europe, but this example comes from Australia. The easy set mousetrap, but I've learned it's not very easy to set. They say push the tongue down to bait, step two, push the tongue up and lift to set. After the mouse is caught, simply lift the lid and dispose into the garbage bin. Due to the sensitivity of the device, it may be necessary to set the trap more than once. I'll show you how this works, but that is true. It's not very easy to set. On the back of the cat's head is a tab with a nub sticking out that's supposed to line up with a divot on the tongue when you push this back. Here's the trigger tongue and a divot, and that's supposed to keep it open. It works now, but it wants to come down and set off very easily. It's so sensitive, ah, like that. They say it's easy set, but it's pretty hard. This is one of the most sensitive and difficult traps I've seen before. Try it again, lift that up. I think we got it. Once we have bait in there, the mouse will come along, try to get the bait, and when they do, ah. That has quite a bit of power. It should work well. Now these traps are sought after by collectors and currently they're selling for around $50 a piece. I don't want a rat or squirrel stealing my trap, so I'm gonna use the mouse trap box in the barn. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can catch a mouse with this plastic mouse trap. Well, last night we caught a mouse with our plastic cat-shaped mouse trap. The Ramjet has one of the most sensitive trigger systems that I've ever seen. That's great for catching mice, but it's actually pretty difficult to set. It's a unique novelty that I'm going to add to the mouse trap collection. It's not the greatest mouse trap I've ever seen, but it did work well. Now I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste, so I'm going to end the video by feeding it to wild animals. Thank you so much for watching Mouse Trap Monday. Now let's go see what eats the mouse we caught with the Ramjet mouse trap. 